I would say I'm not usually into uh, double wide mobile homes. We found this very heavily overgrown property. Quite obviously abandoned. It has been for a while. of little outbuildings for storage I assume. I thought this property was kind of swampy. It's not as bad as I thought once we get back here. Well, that was a very nice pond. Interesting doors. Wow, is it wet in here? Oh, wow, it'd be nice to have a place next to a pond like this. Awesome. I don't know, the back door's got a lock on it. So we'll head back out going in through the front door. And typical of a uh, double wide mobile home. Sloping ceilings with the stucco look. Here we are in the living room. It's warm in here. Must have been where the furnace sat. Dining area. Got a stereo. Actually a pretty nice kitchen. Nice oak cabinetry. Ooh, mouse traps. Kind of home built. I don't see anything left behind. Would have been a stove vent there. dishwasher space. Little 
homemade pine island in the center. Mouse uh, nests, or God knows what else. The baby's high chair. It's be like a uh, sun porch dining room and a family room. Floors littered with odds and ends. There's that uh, soaking wet back porch. It's kind of unusual. Blocked up the uh, opening from the kitchen. the back door would have been the laundry area I guess possibly a bath or bedroom walk through French doors closet nice walk-in deep A little bit of artwork, some packing boxes, an old quilt, and homemade shelves in the corner for televisions and whatnot. Very nice large bathroom. Again, pretty decent cabinetry. Oak double sinks. Nice. His and hers. I guess where the bathtub would have been. There's a shower. We left our uh, shampoo behind. Perhaps that's the master bedroom. Back out into the living room. Somebody left a mattress behind. They were doing some drywalling at one point. I'm not sure what this would have been obviously where another bathroom could have been and they left behind a couple of chairs and this end of the house has been opened up and they left some furniture behind Fiberboard computer desk, old early American style. All three bedrooms at this end are just uh, wide open. This one has a door, and the bedroom is full of junk. My sinuses are actually beginning to burn a little bit. I'm afraid there's too much moisture in here. Probably a lot of mold. I'm praying I don't get sick. Another chair in the closet. Unusual artwork on the walls. Pillow. Carpet padding. Some toys. Plumbing. Floors are a little unlevel in here. I think what's kind of standard for a uh, mobile home that's been left to deteriorate. Truly not an awful lot to look at. Couple of coffee pots. Well, one 
more trip through the kitchen. Because they have pretty decent cabinets though. Nothing in them, except for a mouse's nest. I guess I'll head out the back, take a look at those couple of storage sheds. I can say there's much else to see here. Sliding glass doors. Super duck. Or whatever. It's kind of unusual this porch that's split in two. You can't go from one side to the other. All right, let's jump down here. Hope we don't kill ourselves. Oh. We'll wander through the high weeds. That's a really nice pond again. Wow. Love to be there. That'd be cool. Oh, we're running low on battery. Let's see if there's anything in these storage sheds. We'll oh, head back to the car. We got some totes. Trampoline for the kids. Obviously lots of other kids. Toys and stuff. And this appears to just be a lot of lumber and odds and ends. Piled up. I don't see anything of any use. This other little shed, pretty decent roof on it, but, well, just full of old windows. <laughs> Matching chair to those that are inside. There's another one over in the corner. Car radio, televisions, junk, strainers, pumps. Drawers. And that's the kind of sad story of the uh, abandoned double wide. Yeah. Some tires back here. Doesn't appear to be anything else to look at. Obviously, of course, no basements. You can see under the crawl space there. Wander back out the driveway. front of the building. A little bit of traffic going by. Nice setting, out in the country, its own pond, which was huge. It's a shame, somebody lost the house probably to foreclosure. Didn't notice any stickers though. Abandoned, double wide mobile home. Oh, and there's Bud, he hates to be on camera. Shutting it down, thanks for watching, bye now.